Greetings and welcome to a new video. Since many of you asked me to make a video to explain the new bind FS option that you are getting while you use the pale next jailbreak or the pale range C jailbreak. Actually, if you use bind FS, it will only take about two to three GB of space and you will be able to still use the semi tethered jailbreak. So it is ideal if you have a 16 GB device. The second thing that I will explain in this video is how to fix the stuck at Pongu OS issue that you are getting on A9 or below devices while you jailbreak with the pale Nix or pale Ren C. And to follow it, as you can see, I have this iPhone SE on 15.7.3, which is an A9 device. The method shown in this video is completely free for everybody. All right, guys, making a pale Nix USB flash drive is very easy. You can use pale rings, which is completely free software. You can get it for free from its official GitHub page. If you scroll down, you can get the ISO file from here. And if you are watching this in the future, it may appear here under releases and from here get the latest version as of making this video it is 1.0.7 so you will need the amd 641 next to make the iso into a bootable usb flash drive you will need rufus rufus is also a completely free software so you can get it from here now open rufus as an administrator and now simply connect a USB flash drive. So I'm using this 2GB USB flash drive. Now simply drag and drop the ISO onto Rufus. You don't have to change anything here. Start and make sure that you write in DD image mode. All right. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And then wait for the process to complete. All right. When you see ready, it means you are done. Now we will restart the computer to boot this USB flash drive. Now go to the boot manager and boot from the USB that we have just made. You can use UEFI if you want and press enter and you will see that pale Nix will now load and you will see its menu. Now connect your iPhone or iPad via USB and then you will see this dialog so it is very important to trust it from here or it will not work also as you know we are going to use the bind fs option i want to show you the size first so we have about 23 gb available on this 32 gb device all right now hit enter on pale rain now make sure that rootful is selected by going to switch select rootfo by default rootfo is available to you now go to options and then select create bind fs if you want to save space on a 16 gb device so press the space bar here press enter now hit start and your device will go into recovery mode now press enter and get it into gfu mode as you can see your device if you are using an a9 or below device it will be stuck here on found pongu os usb device and it will be stuck on the pongu os shell what you'll have to do is control c then type exit press enter and then go to palerin again then hit start again and your device will now start the pongu os and then it will start creating the file system if you have selected it you will see that this process will take about 10 minutes so please wait and then guys your device will boot into normal mode all right when your device boots into normal mode you will not see the loader yet what you will have to do is press enter here then go to options and make sure 
the create bind fs or if you want to use fake fs is not selected then hit start and again your device will go into recovery mode now get it into gfu by following the instructions on screen all right as i said on a9 and below devices you will be stuck here now again control c then type exit press enter again go to palerain hit start and your device should now boot into normal mode and when you go in make sure that the wi-fi is connected and you will see the pale rain loader on your home screen i will explain how to set up the jailbreak but we will first go to windows now here press enter exit reboot and now remove the usb flash drive that you have used and now you will get back to windows all right guys as we have used the bind fs option i want to show you the space that is remaining so i am left with still 21 gb of space so it took about 2 to 3 gb of space for this semi threaded jailbreak with tweaks so now let's set it up make sure that wi-fi is connected open the loader hit install here and wait for the bootstrap to be downloaded all right guys when everything is complete respring and when you go in you will see Celio allow and you can see the version it is 15.7.3 and it is jailbroken you can see that you can run your tweaks as the repos are available without any problem you can also update your packages now let's try to install something always allow and restart springboard as you can see the tweaks are working just fine and again i have this much space remaining still so as you can see everything is working just fine without any problems that's all for this video guys if you still want to ask something ask in the comment section i will reply you as soon i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care